Hey, welcome back to the shop here. Today's video is about these three lures and how a base coat can affect the color. So stay tuned and see how it's done. What's going on YouTubers? This is Jared from Jared's Custom Lures. I had a guy, a subscriber, send me a message on Facebook asking me to do this video in particular. So I want to give a shout out to Matthew Stanick for suggesting this video. And here you go, bud. And this one's for you. So what we have here is three different lures. Black background, or black base, a white base, and a clear base. And as you can see, we're going to paint all three of these the same color. So follow along and see just how a simple back base primer color will affect the paint you throw. All right, we're over here at the paint desk. As you can see, these are the three colors we're gonna use. I'm gonna show you the effect on how a base coat will affect some colors. I'm gonna be using the fluorescent yellow, the pearlized magenta, and for some detailing across the back, the opaque black. And you'll see that when it all comes to the end. I'm gonna start off with Pearlized magenta. I'm going to start them on the top. We're going to do the fluorescent on the belly and then we're going to do the back the black over the backs. So let's get started. All right, we're going to start off on the clear. When you're doing it over a clear lure, light coats, It'll take multiple coats to get the color you're trying to achieve. Sorry about that, had a little video hiccup. So I'm on my second coat right now. I think I'm only gonna put two coats on here. And we're all done with that. I'm gonna flash dry it, then we're gonna go to the white, and then we're gonna do the black. Nope, the same color, shooting it with a white base. This one I'm going to take a little further down because I want the belly to be that chartreuse. I'm going to put one more coat over this because I want it to be a little bit darker. All right, now we have the black base again, shooting that pearlized magenta. Here's where you're gonna see a big difference. It's gonna take several layers to achieve the color you want. Light coats, flash dry in between so you don't get any runs. Set that and put another coat on it too. Put one more coat on here and I'll call this done. All right, 
So that's the first color that we're throwing. As you can see, the clear, the white base, and the black base. Sorry for the bright lighting. This is how I, getting old, can't see. Some brighter light helps. So we can get a better camera angle. So that's your clear, clear lure. No, no base coat. This is the white base coat. You can see an effect it makes. And then the black base coat. Gives it that darker sheen, darker look. Now, on to the fluorescent yellow. I'm going to start off again with the clear, then the white, and then the black. All right, we're back. We're going to show, throw the fluorescent yellow. Again, light coats. I like to fade this one up the sides. This is actually a color I came up, I, I made a couple years ago. Had very good success on it. All right, we'll flash dry that. Now I'm going to put a second coat on. Alright, we'll call that one done. And here's the one with the white, white background. Again, fluorescent yellow. Do another coat. All right, we're gonna flash dry that. And let it sit. All right, now here's the lure that we put a black base on. Again, throwing that fluorescent yellow over the black. You're gonna notice that it's no longer a fluorescent color. It's more like a dark green. Again, layers, light coats. Flash dry that, put another coat or two on it. Flash dry this again. We're back. And let's do one more coat. Now I hit the belly a little extra heavy with an extra coat. I don't know if you can see that. Let's do this. Just to give you an effect of how layering changes your colors over certain colors. That's the effect I was going for on this one. I'm gonna let these dry for about 10 minutes. Then we're gonna add some black back across them with some, some netting. And then uh, we'll see how they look. All right, they're pretty dried up now. As you can see, clear base, white, and black. You can substantially see the difference. Especially when it comes to the 
fluorescent yellow on the belly. Yes, they were all shot with the same colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my, some details on the back. I'll show you how I use my scale pattern and the little contraption that I made up to hold it nice and tight. So we'll be back. We're going to start with the clear and just work our way across. All right, so I'm going to use my black here. I'm going to use my little contraption that I made up a long time ago. It has the scale pattern in it, if you can see that, the netting. This makes, this makes it a lot easier to try to do it when you're just doing the back. Now, if you're trying to fade it around the sides, I wouldn't use something like this. But since I'm just going across the back, this comes across real handy. Put a little black in my gun. Try not to stretch it so much. I don't want the stretch look. Tuck that up. Get the lines that I want. There they are, right there. Push my fingers down. Done. Now I'm going to add these set up and I'm going to put some details in and I'll show you the finished results when we're all done.